Hi everyone. Today I will show you how to create your own stock market analyzer application using artificial intelligence. We are going to be utilizing three main tools: ChatGPT, Streamlit, and GitHub. At the end of this video, you will learn how to create your own app in matter of minutes. And you guess it, you do not need to know how to code. So this is completely beginner level. So let's start. In this video, as I was mentioning, we were creating a slick app that uses AI and that will help you analyze stock market data. It will pull data and information from Yahoo Finance and it will create graphs for you. Now, the first tool that you will need is Streamlit. I'll give you the link below, but the main thing that you need to know about it is that you need to have an account and a profile. This one is mine. And after you have your own profile, then you only need to go to create app and then deploy a public app from GitHub. Now, the second thing that you will be needing is a GitHub profile. Again, this is my GitHub profile and I have a space dedicated from these Streamlit apps. I'll be giving you a link in order to create your own profile. And the third one is, yes, ChatGPT. You need an account with ChatGPT and then you will end up in this screen. So let's do it together. You will need to message ChatGPT and tell it to create a Python app that uses Streamlit in order to create this stock market visualizer. You can copy my same prompt that I will be adding in the comments below. Now, in here, as you can see, right now it's giving me two different answers and I can select the best one that I would want. In here on the left, it's giving me one and in here in the right, it's giving me the other one with canvas. Now, this is the code that we will be needing in order to run our Streamlit application. So we just let it finish with the code. Right now it's finalizing the GitHub integration instructions. Then you will copy this code and you will go back to GitHub. In here, you go to the green button and add file to so the left side and we'll do create new file analyzer and then app.py you will paste the code and commit the changes afterwards it will tell you if you want to commit the changes so you will do the green button again and you'll have your first file in this folder then you can go back to the conversation with ChatGPT and ask it, now give me the text for the requirements file. In here, it will give you something that looks like this that are the key libraries that we will be needing in our application. And then you will go again to add file, create new file, elements.txt, and commit the changes once again. Then you will need the third step that will be continuation from Streamlit. In here, we will click deploy a public app from GitHub and in the repository, you will need to connect it with your GitHub account. 
So in this case, for me, I want it with the Streamlit apps. And the app that we just created, it's the stock analyzer one. Now, in this URL, it's optional, but you can include stock analyzer dot finance underscore finance the domain is available so i'll just go and hit deploy now after this the application will be starting to run sometimes you could get some errors and then you will need to go back to chat gpt and troubleshoot let's see what's the application that we created So for us, right now we have the stock market visualizer and it already has an stock in here. So we could change the stock for let's say Tesla and the information will change as well. We can add moving averages and show the candlestick chart as well. Now, if you want to add extra options, then you can tell ChatGPT that you would want those options as well. So let's say we go back and after you do the second prompt, then it will be generating new Python code. Now, sometimes at this stage, it will give you just the code for the new data visualizations that we are asking it in this case. But you can also ask it to generate the entire new code again. So that you can only need to copy and paste in GitHub again. So as for now, it's in here, the additional visualizations in Python. And we will need to wait for it to finish doing the code. But as I was mentioning, you will need to add it in, in GitHub. So we can go already there. And then in the first file that we created, we click on it. And then this is the code that we have right now. So we go to the top right and we can edit this file. Now here, we can select everything and delete and then copy again the code that ChatGPT gives us and commit the changes. When you do this, then the Streamlit application that we just deployed a couple of minutes ago will change. So if you see right now, the candlestick chart looks different than the one that we had before. And it's exactly the same link. Now we have also a chart for volume, daily returns, cumulative returns, and moving averages. This one right now is in dark mode, but you can go to the top right, the settings, and also change it to the light mode if you prefer that one. And similar, we can do another stock, so Tesla in this case, and we can even select the moving averages days in here. Now, the main thing that you need to understand is that this code that it's giving us is the Python code that is using the stream lead library in Python in order to create this application. Then that's the code that we are adding into GitHub. And then we're deploying it using Streamlit. If there's an error, you can go all the way below to manage app and it will show you what's the error. And you can go back to ChatGPT to troubleshoot. And just like that, you created your own stock market 
analysis application. How cool is that? 